everything. What is good, y'all? Welcome right. back to the channel. This is your boy Eddie, aka Insane. And I appreciate y'all for coming back to another video. And uh, if you guys watched the last video, you guys know where I'm probably headed to. I told y'all in the last video that I was gonna go drop off the Bupra at the shop because we are gonna get the carbon fiber trunk installed. And while the car is there, it's gonna get all the love and care it needs like touching up like little things basically getting it ready for beamer invasion and wag fest so that's what we're gonna do today right now i'm gonna drop off the trunk and then after the trunk i'm gonna go hit the gym i'm actually gonna meet up with the homie ulises if you guys have been a long time follower i mean a long time subscriber since the, the channel started you guys know who ulises is that is one of the homies that i go to the gym with and i haven't hit the gym with him in a minute so it's gonna be dope getting a nice little workout with the homie hey yo pause no diddy yeah, that's what we got going on today. If you guys are all having a beautiful, amazing morning, day, night, whatever time you guys are watching this, make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new and be part of the family. Bro, we're at like 1,700 subscribers, which is so dope, bro. I appreciate y'all, all the new subscribers who followed along. I appreciate y'all for real. Slowly and surely getting the booper looking the way I want it. I'm seeing the vision. The vision is coming slowly together and I got my eyes on a new wing that I might possibly get in the near future. We will, we'll see, but it is a dope ass wing, bro. I want it. It has an LED bar on it, which is so sick. And as for the exhaust, the exhaust is doing good. It is no uh, leaks, no nothing. <laughs> you guys saw the video again, like I said. You guys would know what I'm talking about. The exhaust have felt like it, it detached from itself, from the downpipe. So I had to get under, under the car and uh, fix the exhaust. But it's all good now. We are chilling. No leaks. Everything's good. <laughs> we just made it to the shop. And uh, I'm going to drop off this trunk real quick. I decided to come to the gym first. But look at the boy, you look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the truck, but Luis was busy right now, so I couldn't find him. So I'm gonna just go out to the gym and take it to him and do all that. But yeah, time to hit the gym. All right, so we dropped off the trunk, and there he goes with it. We got him with it too. We'll be picking up the Bupra tomorrow, just because uh, they got some things to do right now and they got to move around some cars. But tomorrow we'll get installed the guy for the window will be coming tomorrow too to replace it so that's good news now he's gotta wait for them to pick up the booper tomorrow <laughs> but damn bro i'm excited to see how it's gonna look bro. i'm gonna be wingless for a little bit but then who knows maybe in the future we'll get another wing to add on to it but i already have my eyes on one wing already bro and it's so sick that i might have to cop it <laughs> So guys, if you guys see me walking somewhere, you know what that means. Yep, I'm on my way to go pick up the Supra. It literally took like a day to do it. So shout out to ABC Auto Body Shop, bro, for taking care of it, getting the trunk installed. Bro, I'm excited to see it. I already had seen my old trunk in the garage already because they came and dropped it off, but they didn't take off the wing, which I kind of hope, I kind of wish they did. I wish they did take off the wing, so then like it's easier if I want to sell it or something like that, but no, I got to take it off. So whatever, it is what it is, but might sell it, might not, I don't know. I'm on my way to go pick it up right now, bro. I'm super excited just to see how the hell it's gonna turn out or look. I am nervous. I wonder how it's gonna look, bro. I haven't seen my car wingless in so long that I'm like nervous to see how and if I'ma like it or not. The only way, only one way to find out. All right, guys, I'm looking at the car right now. Um, just based off the looks right now, like I'm so used to seeing it with the wing that right now it just looks weird to me. It looks. It looks completely like naked so it's like it feels like there's something missing you know so i'm gonna show you guys right now but i am so used to seeing it with the wing that right now i'm just like iffy on it but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna grow it's gonna grow on me and it needs to be in the sun i'm like looking at it in the shade too but here is the trunk bro i'm gonna show you guys you guys let me know what you think and let me know if it looks good or not you know but here is the trunk yep here it is bro like i said it's hard to kind of tell because we are in the shade and not in the sun but it is carbon fiber, you feel me? Carbon fiber trunk. Yep. This is how it looks. It's not bad, bro. It's not bad. I just got to get used to it because, like I said, I'm so used to looking at it with the wing. But here it is, bro. We got a carbon hatch now. Let me know what you got, what you guys think. I think it looks pretty sick. You know, it goes with the theme like carbon blue, carbon blue, carbon blue, carbon. It's kind of the theme it was going with. But based off just looking at it like this, we're definitely probably gonna add a wing to this. Like I said, there's a wing that I've been looking at 
that I definitely want to get. Hopefully, I can get it for Beamer Invasion or even Wegfest. That'd be sick. To get a big wing right here and add it onto the hatch, to the carbon hatch, I think it would look sick. Yeah, right now it just looks a little weird to me, man. Just because, you know, it's probably because it's in the shade. I'm so used to seeing it with the wing. <laughs> Like the street under wing is so sick, bro. Don't get me wrong, but this is sick too. But I'm just so used to seeing it with the wing that it just looks a little weird to me. But you guys, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Does it look good? Does it not? Do you, are you guys used to it with a wing? Should I get a wing? You know, should I just rock it like this for a little bit? What, what do you guys think? This thing is pretty sick though, that it is carbon. We just gotta get it in the sun. Yes, we gotta get a PPF. There's a lot of things that I need to get PPF, but PPF is expensive, bro. It is expensive, and I know it is worth it, but it is just so expensive. Whoa, what is this? What is this? What's going on with this? Is it dirt? Okay, it's just dirt. I was like, it's a smudge. I was like, what is that? Good thing it was just dirt. It's about the same, man. But we gotta go get the keys. She is done basically for right now. We're gonna hopefully come back. He said he's gonna hit me up sometime this week to hopefully come back next week to touch up on a little things like the hood and all that. Just because right now he's really busy. So he said that he's gonna try his best to squeeze me in next week to fix all these little things just before the shows. Like I said, shout out to ABC Auto Body Shop for doing this kind of like last minute, just squeezing me in. But he told me like, just bring it Monday and we got you. And they did it within a day. So huge shout out to him. They're always taking care of me. Really appreciate it. So if you guys need any body work or anything like that, ABC Auto Body Shop in the receded area, come through. Come through, because uh, they will get you right. And this is his TRX, the owner. This is his TRX. It's just sick. The interior is almost like this, like the stock interior, like with the black and blue stitching. That's how the interior is in here, which is pretty sick. But yeah, this is fire. Holy shit, guys. This trunk is light as F. <laughs> That's why this thing shoots up, because it's so light. Like, holy shit, bro. That thing is light. But this is what it looks like in the sun. And in the sun, bro, it actually looks good. I'm not even gonna lie to you now. <laughs> now it actually looks good. Carbon is glistening, bro. Just look at that. Damn. Yeah, that shit is glistening right now. Oh my god. I'm causing a little bit of traffic right now. I got a dip, but holy shit. Just look at this. My hood was acting up right now, so that's why I was stuck, bro. So look good now we gotta get up out of here all right so my hood latch was acting up earlier it just keeps popping up you guys know that problem that i keep having but let's hope it doesn't happen i was here for like five minutes just trying to figure this thing out but hopefully it don't pop open on me man because <laughs> it's a problem i don't want to worry about right now but hopefully like i said next week they can squeeze us in to fix all these little minor things to get a show car ready for beamer invasion and wegfest dude shout out to them again bro I'm gonna just keep saying it. Without them, bro, this wouldn't be possible. The Supra would not be back without them. Literally, bro. They're the ones who built this Supra back up. So, forever. Huge shout out to them. And now you can see how she looks in the sun. And, bro, the trunk is glistening, dude. Oh, my God. Let me know what y'all think. Honestly, it's starting to grow on me little by little the more I see it in the sun. And I was just taking pictures in like some angles, like it just looks good. But it just feels like it's just missing something. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks like it's missing something, you know? We'll see, I'm gonna reach out to them and hopefully we can work something out, man, and have this wing that I've been talking about. And I think it would look sick to like just reveal it at Wackfest or Beamer Invasion. Like, I think it would just look so sick. Like, I can just envision it right now. If it goes through, oh my god, it'd be crazy, bro. I think I'd probably be the first here in the U.S. I think, I think so, bro. But let me know what you guys think. Later, I'm gonna meet up with the boy George with his M340i and hopefully maybe Beeves. So we'll probably meet up with them later because they want to see how it looks. We'll get their reaction to it. Yeah, bro. She is looking good. This is how it looks. A little weird, but it's okay. We'll get used to it for right now. Like I said, hopefully we could work something out with that wing and have it on this super i think it would look so sick so this is where my other one's at and as you can see they left the wing on there so <laughs> i think i'm gonna take it off because i might possibly sell it i'm not sure yet but yeah i think i'm gonna take it off i mean i could always throw this one back on if i don't you know want to rock the carbon but this will help me purchase the other one you know what i'm saying so i might take it off I was trying to get pictures of it right now, but it just got too dark right now, but 
shit looking good. Damn. It just looks weird without it right now, but it's kind of growing on me the more I see it, like with the sun hitting it, and then just looking at it more. It actually does kind of look dope. <laughs> it's a new look. It's a different style. I tried hitting up the company, bro, and unfortunately we failed. They did. They were gracious enough to offer us a discount, so we'll see, maybe, but we tried. I tried to get a sponsorship for the damn wing, but I couldn't, guys. I failed. I failed. I'm sorry. But it is a sick-ass wing, though, so I might cop it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Might. Let me know what y'all think of the, the trunk, man. Does it look good or not? Let me know. Let me know in the comments section. I think it looks pretty sick. Pretty sick. Not too shabby. But just so you guys can see the whole car all at once. In the front, it's got the yellow DRLs. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. That looks sick. The yellow DRLs are just bright as hell.